This video is for any web developer who has had actual performance issues with their app. I'm not talking premature optimization for your app. I'm saying the app is out there and it's too slow for whatever reason and you need to figure out why and fix it. So there's two parts to that. Diagnosing the reasons why it's re-rendering too often and then stopping it from re-rendering. The first part's the hard part because it's not super clear with React how it works under the hood. Uh, and this is where you see everyone console logging every single thing that's happening in the app or installing third-party libraries that help them do that, which usually just log things to the console for you. It can get complicated. So I'm gonna focus on the simple way to do it. This is a good first step. So when you're in the scenario of the app's too slow, I need to fix it, I need to understand why, this will help you with that step. I'm gonna use a real life example from my app where I had an actual performance issue, I applied these principles, and the simple way got me to where I needed to and I fixed it. So I think this will help you too in the future. Let's do it. So we're understanding the problem. This is an example of what we're looking for. So every time you see a highlight here is another re-render, another component re-render. You can see I'm clicking and a lot of stuff is highlighted. The way to get that is this is the most important part. This is a part that not a lot of people know about. In the React DevTools Chrome extension, right here, React DevTools in your Chrome store, everyone's got this, right? You should, if you don't already. You're gonna go to Profiler, then you're gonna go to Settings and you're gonna check this box. Now you get to see what's, what's rendering when. Okay, so back to my example when it was really bad. I was clicking one element and a bunch of elements are rendering. <laughs> Like every, this is not good. But it was fine for a while until you add a lot of things to the screen, and then, then there's an error, then it breaks. What we want is something closer to this. You're clicking one thing and it's just re-rendering the thing. It's not re-rendering the whole grid or the whole rest of the app. You'll see on the left, uh, there is still some re-rendering um, happening, but this is an improvement. This is a big improvement. Okay, you got that far, you're like, all right, a lot of things are rendering when they shouldn't. Now you can click the record button and dig in a little more. Do a couple things, you don't need to do much, stop. Then you're gonna go to the most expensive render portion, wherever that is, click around here. Right there, see, I saw a lot happening on frame, yeah, frame 10. So I'm looking at this whole left sidebar and I'm like, why is this rendering? And it says, it rendered because hooks 21, 58, and 65 changed. This is the kind of annoying part. Now I have to go to components and find hook 25, 58, and 65. But it's doable. You click around your, your components, it's probably a hook here, there you go. The point of this is you wanna know which, which hook or which side effect is triggering the rendering. Now you have the info you need. Now you know why something's rendering. From here, isolate the problem a little bit. So if, if I know this selector is supposedly re-rendering a lot, but there's two other selectors that are re-rendering a lot, I would go to those other two and just either comment them out or hard code them just so I can isolate that one selector and focus on that, then repeat that for the other two. What I had in my case was um, I was just organizing the state poorly. So changing one thing resulted in other things listening to that one thing and then re-rendering re when they didn't need to, which is a good case for memoizing. So we're gonna talk about how to memo things a little better now. This is a good first place to start if you're having re-renders across other parts of the app. If you're in React 19 world, hopefully this won't be an issue because they're gonna update how they're memoizing in their compiler for you. But if you're in a scenario where you, you slap that memo on it uh, and it's still not working, look into this R props equal um, function. This is where you can define a little more narrowly what this check, what this is checking. In my case, I had the the memo function running on too many things, and so if you have a lot of props because of how you architected the state, this might happen. Ideally, it should never happen because you're only passing down a few props at a time. But in real life, this this might happen to you, and so you're in a situation where you have a component with a lot of props, uh, and you want to memo as the component, but you don't want to compare all the props, you do something like right here. This is that R props equal function, and I'm just looking at two of them now. I'm saying if the event itself changed, or if the, the grid changed, like if you resized it, then I want you to recompute the event in its position here. So, check memo out too. Step one, review, dev tools, enable this setting. Then you find out what exactly is re-rendering. Step two, 
do profiling, find the most expensive component or something that's rendering when, when it shouldn't, click it. Then you find the hook. Now you go to the components, you find that hook. Then you isolate it if there's a lot of hooks or side effects rendering. Just comment or hard code them out. Find the one that's the issue, fix that. You might want to use memoize, memoization, react.memo to fix it. And you might want to narrow it a little bit using the rprops equal function to, to do that. All right, at this point, you should have a better idea of what you need to fix. And if you don't at this point, I'm sorry, it might be time for a rewrite. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Goodbye.